AV, short for Aerial Vehicles, are seen pretty frequently here in Cyberpunk 2077. Sadly, with the game now in our hands, it turns out they mostly act as decoration for Night City. Sometimes V will ride in one for story purposes, other times we'll see squads like Trauma Team using them, but most of the time they just fly overhead as you make your way through the game. Sadly, V cannot acquire his own personal AV, and he certainly can't ride one through the skies of Night City. Until now. Well, kinda. I actually managed to accidentally find a way to ride an AV over the streets of Night City, and it's pretty cool. Let's not waste any more time and get right into it. To ride the AV, you're gonna have to first begin a side job called I Fought the Law. The mission is only unlocked after completing the main job, Life During Wartime, which is pretty deep into the game's main story. You also need to hit street cred level 9, but that shouldn't be an issue at all this deep into the game. If you're short, just complete side jobs and gigs that populate your map until you're at level 9. Soon after you complete Life During Wartime, you'll get a call from a character named Elizabeth Perales, at which point you could head to this area near Corporate Plaza to begin the side job. After making your way through the brain dance, you'll get out of the car to see Elizabeth and her husband standing outside of their very own AV. At this point, I'd suggest making a separate save because this is where the magic happens. Talk to Jefferson and when the conversation ends, the couple will take off in their AV. Because I'm weird, I decided to jump on the AV, expecting to just slip off, but then I didn't. For some strange reason, I was able to stay on the hood of the AV as it took off, gained altitude, and picked up speed. I was basically Cyberpunk Aladdin riding a chrome magic carpet. Indeed, you can now activate photo mode at this point, fully mess around with it, and get an awesome view of Night City from above. It's funny that riding on top of an AV like this was clearly not intended for players to actually do, yet my cruise over Night City here was honestly one of the most awe-inspiring moments of my entire playthrough. Like visually, this looks awesome. I love stumbling across silly, cool stuff like this in open world sandbox games, and I spent a good 20 minutes just messing around with photo mode and taking in the view. I'd recommend trying this yourself just for the photo mode potential here, especially if you've been finding yourself snapping shots constantly throughout your cyberpunk playthrough like me. Eventually though, sadly, the AV will vanish out of existence, resulting in V falling to his painful, tragic death from the skies above. But luckily, if you load your checkpoint back up, you'll appear right here, just before the AV takes off. And again, you could go for the magic carpet ride as many times as you'd like. Ah, uh, yeah. That's gonna wrap it up for today's quick little video. I hope you all have some fun with this little trick. The view over the city you get here is honestly breathtaking. As amusing as this bootleg-ass method of riding an AV may be, I really hope through that upcoming Cyberpunk 2077 DLC, players will actually be able to take control of their own AV and fly over the skies of Night City properly. CD Projekt Red has crafted a truly gorgeous world here and taking to the skies like this makes me appreciate all of their design work and art direction even more. If you like this video and want to see more Cyberpunk 2077 guides and content, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I finally completed the main story and every side job and even managed to avoid spoilers somehow, which feels like a miracle. But what that means is I have a lot of videos on the way now that I actually feel like I understand this game and know my way around Night City. I apologize for the wait, but it turns out this is a big ass game that requires the player to replay it multiple times to experience every last cool little thing. And I do want my videos here on the channel to be as perfect and fully informed as possible for all of you. Gotta get the full perspective here, even if that means playing through the game again as female V to access all of those romance scenes. Luckily, this game's good. Real good. Couple of bugs here and there, not gonna lie. What? But otherwise, it's fun as hell, and I'm excited for everyone, 
especially console players, to finally experience this game properly and in a playable state once those glitches get ironed out. So look forward to more cyberpunk goodness soon, but until next time, thanks so much for watching everyone, and take care.